Hey guys, I'm back for some more Art of War 3, and today we're going to be playing on the Black... Wait, wait, no. The Wild Clover map. <laughs> I almost said Black Clover, which is going to get me a copyright strike. No, please, please, no, I did No, that's not what he meant. Wild Clover map. Let's go. Of course, doing the typical scout. This is the Art of War 3 birthday tournament. So... There's, we're gonna have to uh, be mindful of the containers we capture because of this yellow thing. Oh, it moved over here. The yellow thing over here. Basically, the yellow thing will move uh, depending on the, the amount of containers you and your opponent captures. So, see there's two containers right here. Two normal typical resource containers, which of course I will capture. Basically, I'm gonna give my opponent uh, this first... Uh, prize box thing it basically spawned right there so my opponent can go and capture that I basically just wanted the resources early on bad move probably not because I did do pretty well in the initial scouting stage there's an assault trying to scout we'll take it down of course another prize box has spawned over here Hmm. I'll use my armadillo against the fortresses and coyotes against the flamers. Although I don't really have any man uh, room to maneuver, so yeah, gonna have to play it a little bit safe. There's a flamer over there. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Ah, uh, yeah, we're not. Yeah, we're not gonna win this. Okay, the container is really close to me, so I could easily just plop down a sniper tower here and have it covered, which is good. Which is good. Come on, the fortress is almost down. Come on, come on. Good, perfect. Okay, so my base has expanded pretty rapidly. We are at the five minute mark and we're gonna get a mole out. We are also going to be getting some jaguars out uh, and maybe some hawks. I mean, not maybe some hawks, I always go for hawks, of course. So here we go. Of course, if my opponent captures a container, it, the yellow box, no, the yellow landing spot will uh, move closer to me. Uh, we don't want it getting too close to me because that just means I neglected container droppings, uh, which isn't even that good. The more containers your opponent captures means you should also get a few containers too. Of course, not more than your opponent because then this uh, landing zone will go near your opponent, but you should get a few containers just for the resource. Count. Of course, uh, these big yellow drop boxes means that you will get some uh, extra resources at the end of the battle, like credits and gold. Uh, so those are also good to keep in mind. Yeah, I was looking to capture this container, but the flamers, uh, yeah, the flamers are too tough. Okay, prize box is dropping right here near my sniper tower. This is basically mine. Sent a uh, rifleman to capture that, and now I got the mole out. And okay, so basically, I just got one uh, extra goodie bag uh, to open at the end of the battle, along with three resource containers I can use in battle to help me win. So basically, the more of those red containers you get from those drop boxes, the better it will be. Of course, I got my hawk now. We'll use this to do a little bit of reconnaissance and scout our opponent. Okay, and it looks initially, just looks like a typical flamer, heavy assault hammer, and Zeus spammer. And upon further inspection, uh, yeah, it, it, yep. 
No doubt about it there. Infantry and uh, vehicle spammer uh, of, of HQ3 type. So, yeah, I'm already going for HQ level 4, and I have Hawks. So, that's air support, and I did not see any sort of anti-air or air support of my opponents. So, basically, my Hawks have free reign. Lots of resource containers spread out, too. I can see an army massing up over here. And so we're gonna have to engage, I believe. Acid strike. My wasps are coming in. I mean, not my wasps, my hawks are coming in. And I got some mole turrets out. Lots of flamers. Uh, but I'm auto-targeting... I'm not, not auto-targeting, but I'm manually targeting my Hawks, no, my Jaguars to attack the armored targets. But I also am manually targeting my Hawks uh, to attack units in Splash. I neglected some maneuvering on the Wasp, so it got shot down, uh, but it's fine. I can see Blue is attacking... Ooh, uh, my mole now, which is not a good idea because now it's underground. Literally taking almost no damage because mole is that tanky. Tankiest unit in the game too. It would take 20 Zeus, a whole uh, 20 seconds to take down a mole, which is quite a bit if you think about it. 20 seconds at continuous fire from 20 Zeus is quite a bit. Of course, but now since the army consists of mostly infantry, my hawks can dwindle the numbers really quickly, so this attack is useless. Okay, scouting further. Looks like Blue now has some Typhoons out. Uh, some anti-air towers being constructed. But now I'm gonna go for a Leviathan. So things will get much better. I hope. Hopefully they don't have Vertex. Hopefully they don't have Vertex. Because Leviathan's main issue would be Vertex. I did get down another Typhoon. Some infantry, I think. So that's good. Another prize, draw, uh, prize box has dropped. So that'll be mine, of course. We'll hide a dragonfly on top of the hill uh, to see uh, what they're doing. And I am getting some containers over here as well. Uh, some nice juicy containers. I'm basically trying to track Blue's army to the surprise box. So once my Leviathan is out, I can put my Leviathan on hold mode over here and nuke them. That's going to be my goal. So come on. Get the Lev out. We still got two minutes till the prize box drops. And it looks like Blue's army is not going to secure the prize box. It looks like it's moving over there. And so we'll move our Jaguars into a position to further engage them. I move my Leviathan back a little bit. Uh, preparing for a full-scale assault from Blue. And I basically probe, the, probe their army. And I engage over there. Because I thought I thought Blue was actually fully retreating to the base, but now Blue stopped to attack my Leviathan, and so I'm gonna miss the nuke horribly. That was a bad nuke. Horrible. I got my Wasp to take all the fire, so my Leviathan does not get destroyed. And now, while they're targeting my Leviathan, my Dragonflies can actually deal out some good damage. And if they get too close, my Jaguars can finish them off. Even if my nuke missed, Blue's army is horribly out of position, and there is not much anti-air. Yeah, there's a couple heavy assaults, Typhoons, and then Zeus missile launchers, but that's nothing. I got Hawks, I got Dragonflies, these are good attack units. And now that I'm moving in with my ground army, we can do a full-out strike.
and we're gonna go in we got some jaguars here basically dishing out some good damage against these heavy assaults not the best because infantry are pretty buffed in this game but still pretty good Good, perfect. And it looks like our opponent is has given up, so it's a good game for us. GG's.